So I've got the Poco F2 Pro right here. This is also known as the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro. And today I'm going to show you a trick that you can use to install the beta version of MIUI that is currently based on it's currently based on version Android version 11 and it will be at least as of recording this video it is MIUI version 12.2.1 so we need to be on MIUI version 12.2.1.0 in order to install the new unofficial Lineage OS 18.1 which is also based on Android 11 aka Android R. So in order to install Lineage OS we first need to be on a base version of MIUI that is currently based on an open beta or a closed beta. You have to if you want to officially install this MIUI firmware you have to apply manually. So you have to go to a Xiaomi Google form and you have to give them your Xiaomi Mi account. You have to give them your IMEI numbers and then you have to wait for them to manually approve the beta for your specific account. I know not a lot of people are you know wanting to do that. They don't want to have to wait after they submit something. So we're actually able to manually install um, the MIUI based on Android 11 on this device, but we have to have an unlocked firmware. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. We're going to go with an unlocked version of the Poco F2 Pro and the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro. Our bootloader is already unlocked. Now I have already done a video that shows you how to install the Lineage OS recovery. So in the video description when I list out all the instructions, I'm going to be linking to that specific tutorial so that you can follow that. The only thing is that tutorial was made to install a recovery for Android 10. In this video description, I'm going to be linking to a download for the custom recovery that is for Android 11. So make sure that you're flashing the Android 11 LOS recovery, Lineage OS recovery, when you go through that process. So here I've booted into Lineage OS recovery. I've followed my old tutorial to use the fastboot flash recovery command while the phone is in fastboot mode. And then I rebooted into recovery directly by going fastboot reboot recovery. I can explain all of that in that last video. Once we are in Lineage OS Recover, we need to make sure that the device is plugged in to our USB cable. It needs to be plugged into our uh, PC with the USB cable. And then we need to enable a sideload mode. So we need to, to tap on Apply Update and then Apply from ADB. Once we see that ADB, their ADB sideload, name at the top you should see some text down here at the bottom say that saying that the phone is now waiting for us to send that zip file and this is when we need to go ahead and download the firmware for this device this is the um, this is the MIUI version 12.2.1 firmware that I just uh, talked about we need to download that to the PC and we need to move and copy that into the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And I'm going to go ahead and rename that file to firmware.zip so that the command that we type out is going to be uniform and very easy to, to type out. So here we have the command prompt that has been opened up or the PowerShell that has been opened up in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. You can see I just flashed and rebooted over into that Lineage OS recovery, like I said. So with here, with our firmware 
zip file in the same folder as our ADB and, pass and uh, Fastboot tools. We just need to type out the command ADB space sideload space firmware.zip or whatever the file name is for that firmware you downloaded. If you kept it the same, then it's going to be like LMI, you know, a bunch of numbers and letters for that specific build. I just renamed it so I don't have to type all that out and I can just type in firmware.zip. So once we that is done, we can just press enter on the keyboard. Remember our phone is still in sideload mode. And now it is currently accepting that firmware file. On the phone, it said finding update package, and then immediately switched to verifying update package. So we're just going to wait patiently. Do not unplug the phone. Don't press any buttons. There's no need to. Just wait patiently for the computer to send the firmware file to your phone so that we can manually flash it onto the device. At around the 50% mark on the command prompt, we got a pop-up on the phone saying that the signature, signature verification failed if we want to install anyway. We're going to tap on yes. This is likely just because it is a public beta. And we're going to let the Lineage OS recovery flash and install that firmware to the partitions on our device. This is basically like flashing a custom ROM. When you load it into TWRP, we're just having to manually flash it over the USB cable with ADB side load. Even if you think that the script is stuck, just be patient. As you can see, there are a lot of images that need to be flashed to various partitions.
You can see after you wait a few minutes, it will continue to go through the script. You completely understand how this process can be nerve-wracking for some people, especially if you're, you know, new to experimenting with these custom ROMs and these scripts like this. So once everything completes, it should bring us right back to that apply from ADB page, which we just need to tap back to get away from. And then we should be taking to the main menu for Lineage OS Recovery. With that done, we can just simply reboot system now. And that will restart the Poco F2 Pro and Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro. So there we go. We are booted back up into MIUI. Our data is still intact. We have not lost any of our data. And we can actually go into the settings right here to look and find out which version of MIUI we're currently running. You can see we are on MIUI Global version 12.2.1, which is currently based on Android version 11. And there we have it. That is how to install the beta MIUI version 12 on the Poco F2 Pro, as well as the Redmi K30 Pro, and Redmi K30 Pro, I believe it's Zoom, all devices with the LMI codename.